you grow up and you have this such this rich tradition, mm-hmm. and now you're spending, uh, you know, good good portion of your life in New York City. Yeah, and you have a family yes. here. Yeah, yeah, and that must feel like a disconnect sometimes. It, it, it's it's still to this day. It feel it feels like so many things. When it, I remember the one of the first times it really hit home was when we were driving we were driving back into the city, and we cro- we, we we live very close to the Brooklyn Bridge, and we. We're crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, and the kids go, "Oh, we're home!" And I went, "Who's home? Who? Yes. What? what? This is not my this home. Is, no, I know I'm still. <laughs> this is part of a movie. Yes, <laughs> you can only work a ten-hour day. Yeah. yeah, you precocious assholes. Yes. So, and it's it's still there. Are, there are there are more. I, I as I was coming in today, there are scenes I will I will look at. You know, in in Times Square, and still feel like I'm in a Scorsese movie. Yes, you're a taxi driver. Yes, yes, I, I, I'm giving the best performance of my life. But it, it 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 it's it's still it's it still hasn't sunk in. There's where where the, where the kids play football has this incredible view of Manhattan. It's the kind of Brooklyn, the southern tip of Manhattan. It has the entire view of that. You can see you can see the Chrysler, Empire State. You can see everything from this from a football field where the kids played football. And I said the other day, I said, it is incredible that you will grow up having this view from your soccer field. Yeah. And he went, what view? <laughs> I went, N- nothing. Doesn't matter. Kick the ball. Yeah. Yeah. It so, is it's like uh, if you talk to us... Uh, if 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 one does talk to, I try not to, but talk to a, a a small boy in France in Paris who lives in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower. There's a good chance he's never been up in it. No, no, and, nor and doesn't get and doesn't give a shit. No, and no, and no, and understandably, no, nor should he. Los Angeles, you know, I was, in, I was in, I was seven years in Los Angeles, and that felt that felt a lot more foreign to me. That was truly the thing. I think. We all grew up with this incredibly exotic idea of Los Angeles, and it sort of doesn't disappoint when you when you got off the plane. You know, we were all heading over there for pilot season with these with these giddy notions. But LA to me, and st- still has that light and those palm trees that still ha- ha- feel like I, it was everything I imagined and wanted to do as a child. And then when I came to New York, having spent 13 years in London, I felt one step to what I still felt I was in a movie, but it was one step towards somewhere I knew. I was like, I, I can I can navigate the subway. I know, you know, this feels a little more familiar. The bars were a little more familiar. I felt like I was like, okay, I'm, I can be I can be relatively comfortable. You've clicked here. back a little closer on the dial. I have, I have. That I can I can find my own among these among these dirty streets. What when you're you're a kid and you're dreaming about uh, Hollywood? Yeah. Maybe or it was. Yeah. What you know? Who were the actors that really spoke to you, or the film actors? Were there people that spoke to you, and were they necessarily? Any of the Welsh greats, or were you? Had you moved on to? You like Laverne and Shirley? Well, I've always Laverne, Laverne, Shirley, Cagney and Lacey, all the classics. But right, right. but I think Bur- Burton was revered in Wales because he was the tra- he was the trailblazer, the yes. one who who not only con- he, he not only conquered, well, no, you know Hollywood. He 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 took it to a realm that we could have we can still only imagine. Well, because you know I don't think there's a lot of young people that listen Sorry, to this and they yes. don't understand that Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor were this scandalous couple mm. and they were whatever you think the kardashians are now in terms of f- pure level of fame yes or you know you know uh Brad Pitt Angelina Jolie whatever mm. you we, you can imagine it was bigger because they were the acknowledged biggest couple in the world, world yes and for about 8 years and were whatever they did was news right. this show is sponsored by better help Okay, imagine you're looking at a scale with everything you do for others on one side, and then on the other side of the scale is everything you do for yourself. And the question is, is it balanced? I think in a lot of cases, that's probably not the situation. Well, guess what? Therapy can help you clarify your values, find more balance in your life, so you can keep being a rock star for others without forgetting yourself in the process. To be honest, I've never been a rock star for anybody. <laughs> I just, but I get the idea. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, I think give BetterHelp a try. Here's the cool thing, it's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So what you do is you fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. And I think one of the barriers to getting therapy for a lot of people is, I don't know, I gotta go in, I gotta sit there with this person, it's gonna be awkward, what if it's not a good fit? 
I'm going to feel weird saying this doesn't work for me and not coming back. All of that's eliminated uh, with BetterHelp. So find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Conan today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Conan. To a degree, the sort of first of that paparazzi yes. world that, that kind of would shut down blocks because yep. of, you know, the trail of paparazzi and and just... Just the extravagance of the life that went with it, the yachts and the kind of outbidding. She had, he got her a giant ring. Yes, he outbid Onassis on the on the on the on the on the gemstone or something. You know, yeah. all those all those incredible stories and hailing from a tiny mining town in in South Wales. So it was he he was you know I I I read about him as a young boy and he really was he was great friends with Dylan Thomas. So he he bestrode so much in kind of Welsh mythicism yep. and yep. lore for, for me personally still does that he was you know and then and then Hopkins from the same town Anthony Hopkins from the same town followed in his footsteps and then and then we were all on and then we were off we were like if right we're on right I want to go back in time and be born in that town I really do I know I, know. <laughs> I, want, I want a time machine yes. and a visa yes I want to be born in that town yes and uh, then I'll get the respect I deserve. Right, Michael Sheen also born in that town, but then, but you know, they these were they they set they set the the trail for us to kind of go. It, it's a, we're allowed now. It's, yeah, it's it's possible. So do you was, do you are there any things that you can do, say with your family, that will bring them closer to your childhood? Can you go out and and this is a uh, I don't even know if this is something. That happens in Wales. I'm just making it up. But can you say, let's go cut some peat for the fire? <laughs> no, we leave that to the Irish. No one can okay. cut no one can cut peat like the Irish. Okay. Yes. All right. That was that, a bad one. How no, about this? No. How about you dig a small mine yes. wherever you're living? Yeah. Uh just outside. Get permission that's, from the city to build a small mine. Well, that's what we have going on in Brooklyn at the moment. We have, <laughs> we're going down another seam in a week. So we're we're very excited. The kids are very excited. I'm old school, so I like the naked flame on the sure, on the helmet. Of course, of course. Here's a canary for the morning. Off you go. <laughs> you, know, lo- you lower them on a yeah, rope. Yeah, I do. Sing, sing, Danny. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, so you know, but they get a sense of both worlds. I like that. A, a, a sense of you know both worlds and understanding. Funnily enough, for last year, for the you know, Kerry was shooting back in London. So for the first time, and my son was six, so I I, I got to start. Um, taking him back to those elements of my childhood when we were kind of packed off to the farms at, at early ages and we went back to my father's farm. Um, and and that was, that. <laughs> I did get quite emotional at times, but that was, to me was this incredible moment where I started to show him all the old, you know, Kodak photos of me at six yeah. feeding various livestock. And it just sounds sound like a complete Welsh cliche. But, but, yeah, I, I was I was incredibly happy to be to be able to do that to kind of you know link 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 my past m- more so than I've I've been doing so. Uh, yeah, I would. I I mean, that's the other thing too. Is do you think your your kid's going to have an accent at all? It's going to have. Can you just can you give him tapes that he could listen to as he's sleeping at night? It's, I I I do speak to him in Welsh now because I you know I was I was raised speaking Welsh. Um, and it, and it wasn't any kind of conscious decision when when he was born. I just started speaking to him in, in Welsh, um, and he's now entering this phase where he's realizing that I, he calls it dada language and mama language, and he's kind of getting. It's not he's not embarrassed by it, but some well, no, it, he is embarrassed by it because sometimes in school he'll say, "Hey, can you speak mama's language?" And I go, "I go, yes, absolutely," but you know, know that it's just. It's our own <laughs> secret language because I'm pretty sure there's very few in Brooklyn that can pick up on our conversation. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to impart things that, in retrospect, I hope he'll go. All oh, right, he did. He did. He did pass on. There, there are the, these these phrases, these songs that I can remember. You know, the songs from my father. To quote Marlon Brando's mm-hmm. book. Yeah. Did you? It's funny. What I'm passing on to my kids is because my uh, my wife is very, uh, you know, she's a she's, What's a, her, her she's a wasp. So she's <laughs> she just is. She's a she's. Uh, I married someone who's got uh, ancestors with portraits. Brilliant. And, um, Brilliant. Do they go back to the Mayflower? Oh, I'm sure they were they were on the Mayflower. These are people who they're 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 a mix of uh, some Welsh, Scottish, English. 
a little bit of Irish. And then uh, it's funny when I came along uh, there, uh, my, my wife's grandfather was, uh, was just like, oh, you brought an Irishman, have you? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, well, you know, we've been in this country a couple of hundred years. I'm well educated. I think I, I, I clean up nice. Yeah. And, um, uh, but he was suspicious. He told me at one point, he called me over and he said, you know, I just have to tell you, I have a problem with the Pope. And I said, well, I, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I said, you know, first of all, it's 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 2005. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, you know, yeah. so, but it was just funny that I think when he looked wow. at me, yeah. he saw a leprechaun uh, who was trying to... <laughs> a Pope-loving, yeah. licking... Ah, uh, you papist! <laughs> yeah, you papist licker. Uh, so, uh, Were but, you raised Catholic? Oh, very Catholic, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. very is very Catholic. And so... Um, have you so have you done have you done genealogy? Have you done the kind of... I did. And? Uh, what were your percentages? I am 100%. That's amazing. And I think about it. Congratulate no, you. You're I, a thoroughbred. Well, I, what I say when it's true is I'm inbred. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They've kept it. It was that part old. of my stand up act yes. for a while, and people would really laugh hard, and I think they always laugh at the true part. <laughs> And, isn't, that, isn't that the goal? But of course, you know, you're only 100% Irish if if brothers are marrying sisters well, for yes, a couple of hundred years. Exactly. So well, this well ex done. <laughs> <laughs> you passed the test. You know, you get the key to the country now, let alone the city. Pick a city. No, it's true. Uh, I would love, I always tell my kids, your guys are a mix. There's, and you want to be a mix. Right. An exotic, right. exotic mix. Yes, of course. Of Irish with Scottish, yeah. with English, yes. with uh, yeah, all, all bases covered. Yes, yeah. Then they can mix in any social circle, exactly. Yeah, and passport to any any small Celtic <laughs> country they want. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, you should think of doing a remake of the I Love Lucy show, um, where it's you and Carrie. Except, uh, you know, when oh. he would, when Desi would get upset, he would start babbling. And yes. he'd start like He'd get upset and he'd start ranting yeah. uh, in, in Spanish. In Spanish. Yeah. And I think you, you could do the same show, yeah. uh, except you just go into Welsh. Yeah, I, I live that life. I don't, that, that's life in our house, where I kind of curse in Welsh and kind of shout, you know, count, recount. What is a, I don't even know a Welsh swear, what it sounds like. Cachy. Yes. <laughs> Let you just sneeze. Yes, I know. People people, people often say Gesundheit when I'm speaking Welsh. During COVID, you must have been a terrifying person to be around. Well, of course. They were like, get away. Get away from me. Yes. yes. Are you all right, sir? Yes. Was that a lung? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, 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 what, but what, what, what gave me great joy the other day was actually hearing my son swear in Welsh. For the oh, that's time. terrific. Yeah, yeah. Kakti? Kakki. 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 I don't want to know what it means. It's just like, I just want to enjoy. It's like, yeah, okay. I'll let you. I'll let, I'll let your imagination. Let my run. mind fill yes, in. Yes, I, I can. Oh. I can watch it. It's like two little movie oh. screens. Yes, <laughs> two little beady mu <laughs> movie screens. You're looking yeah. in my eyes. Yeah, I was. 